Hey guys, Professor Mike here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the video. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you're able to fit 35 inch tires on your F-150 without scrubbing, without rubbing, and without cutting any of the crash bars. There's a certain way to do it. This is the only way to do it. Let's jump right into the video. All right, so the amount of times I get this question, Professor Mike, how can I fit 35 inch tires on my F-150? Is it, am I able to do it with just a leveling kit? You know, I have a two and a quarter inch level, I have 35 inch tires. Can I fit it? I don't want to cut the crash bars. I don't want it to rub. It's my daily driver. And so um, I have a lot of new subscribers. Many of you know that I lifted this F-150 six inches, did not go with the level. But if I wouldn't went with the level, I definitely would have put 35s on it. And there's a certain way to do it. Before we talk about the 35s, let's talk about what's tried and true. So your F-150 is going to come with a plus 44 offset wheel and tire package. So plus 44 offset wheels, 18 inch, 17 inch, 20 inch, so that's why they're very, very narrow in the in the fender. And then the F-150s have about a 31 and a half tire or 30 or a 32 inch tire. And lastly, the standard F-150 is gonna come with a rake. So it's gonna look like this when it comes from the factory because when you add a load in, it will then level out the truck. So it comes nose dived first. And to level it out, people go with a two inch or a two and a half or a two and a quarter inch hockey puck spacer up front on top of the strut to level it out like this. So it's like this when you get it from the factory, it'll level it out from the front with a two inch or two and a quarter inch spacer. And therefore you're able to fit bigger tires underneath. So 31 inch tires standard. Let's talk about 33 inch tires. So most people will go with a leveling kit, two inch, two and a quarter and put 33 inch tires. No problem at all. They fit every time. You can do 33 inch tires. There's no rubbing, no scrubbing. It's tried and true, it fits, perfect. Let's talk about 34 inch tires. So on a 34 inch tire, um, you're definitely gonna want to figure out what kind of tire that you're gonna need because different tires run different sizes. So 34 inch tires definitely can fit on an aftermarket rim, can fit on a stock rim, um, and you can have no rubbing and no scrubbing. The only thing about the 34 inch tire is if you have a very wide aftermarket rim and you add height to your tire, when it turns, it may rub the crash bar. So as long as you're not going negative 44 offset or negative like 24 offset, you're probably not going to have any problem um, fitting a 34 inch tire on your F-150. So you can definitely use a 34 inch, which equates to about... 295 60 20 or 295 60 18 and you can go with a negative 12 offset you can go to zero offset a plus one offset you're gonna fit perfectly they do it all the time now let's talk about the 35 inch tires so i've done extensive amount of research and this is what i've came up with there is a way to fit a 35 inch tire on your f-150 if you try to go to a standard tire shop and say hey i'm gonna put 35 on a level f-150 they're going to tell you, no, it doesn't fit. They have no idea what they're talking about. It is a way to do it. If you go with a 35, 12 and a half, 20, and you slap that thing on the F-150 the stock rim and you level it two inch, two and a quarter, two and a half, you're going to rub on the upper control arm because the width is what's getting you. It's not the height, it's the width. The 35, the tallness, the 60 or, or 295, 65, 20 in different metric size, you're able to fit that on a leveled F-150. It's just the width, the 12 and a half inch, which equates to like 315 or, or 305. It's the width of the tire is rubbing on your upper control arm because your offset is so positive. So here's your wheel, right? And it's so tucked in and then you're adding a fatter tire on it and it's rubbing on the upper control. It's going to squeak on the upper control arm. Now, this is how you do it. 35, 11 and a half, 20, which equates to 295, 65, 20, which is 295 width, which is the 11 and a half. The height is 65, which is a 35 by 20, which is the size of the rim or by 18, which is the size of the rim. That is how you can definitely fit that 35 on your F-150. So it's about the height and the width, but the most important part is the width because of a more narrow tire, you're going to give yourself more space between the tire and the upper control arm which allows you to fit that 35. It doesn't matter really about the height because your offset is so positive that when it swings out, it's not hitting the crash bar because you're so tucked in. However, if you try to fit this 35 on a plus one offset or a negative offset, you're going to rub on the crash bar. It's just, it's just not going to fit. 
the only way to fit that 35 man is on a plus 44 offset wheel so it has to be on a stock wheel even if you're at a two and a 2.5 inch max level and you're still going to rub with the negative offset you have to have the stock tire so let's recap this right here you have a 295 65 20 which equates to three which equates to 35 11 and a half 20 if you went with a 35 12 and a half 20 that equates to about 305 or, or 315 65 20 and i get questions like on this on the daily right so you go to the shop and you're like i got a 35 inch tire by 11 and a half by 20 the shop's going to tell you it doesn't fit. So most shops aren't going to do that because they don't want to run the risk of, you know, it rubbing on your crash bar. But I'm telling you, it won't, it won't rub on your crash bar if you use a stock rim and it won't rub on the upper control arm if you go with 11 and a half. Now, 11 and a half are a little more expensive because they're a lot harder to find because most people run a 12 and a half because they're just getting it lifted in general. So most people don't run a 35 with that narrow. But that's just the way you're going to do it, man. So 35s definitely fit on the F-150. I wouldn't recommend um, going anything wider than 295. Um, but to play it safe, if you want to go with 34, 34s are great. And there's no rubbing. There's no scrubbing. Um, but if you go with that 35, you have to think about the type of tire that you're getting as well. Because all tires run different sizes, man. A mud terrain tire is going to run a lot heavier than a highway tire or an all-terrain tire which means it's gonna be like a lot wider a lot taller because of the lugs are so fat on the tire so different brands run different sizes just like different shirts a medium shirt is going to run different than a medium you know nike shirt or a medium under armor shirt they're all going to run different sizes or even shoes so same thing with tires they all run um big or they run small so do your research on that so most people go with like nato ridge grappler or Little Terra Grappler, the Toyo All Terrain, Mickey Thompson, you know. But if you're going with like trail, like little trail grabs, or we're going with uh, Cooper MT SS Pros, like you're going with like big tires and they have like huge sidewalls, you know, you're probably gonna maybe get a little bit of squeaking, a little bit of rubbing. It's all about that tire brand as well. So that's something to take into consideration. So if I were you, instead of going with 35, 11 and a half, 20, I would go with 295. 65 20 because the 295 65 20 is actually a true 35 see the 35 12 and a half 20 or 11 and a half 20 the 35 height is really like 34.1 but the 295 65 20 is like literally a 35 sometimes like 35.1 or 35.2 like they they run true to size so if you want a true to size tire it's actually a little taller than your standard metric tire of 35 12 and a half 20 or 35 11 and a half 20 so i would run that uh that 295 65 20 or 275 65 20 uh, just to get that added height and like i said you got to do it on the stock wheel man if you try to run a negative offset wheel or even just or even just a less positive offset wheel you're going to rub all over your crash bar so this is the way to do it man if i would have never lifted this truck i would have went with my level two and a half inch f-150 hockey puck style spacer up front i would have put 295 65 20s on my stock uh tire or my stock wheels uh we've been rocking and rolling man so that's the way to do it i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did go ahead and leave a like and subscribe i post new videos on the channel every single week and i get this literally this question all the time and i hope this clears it up for you i did a video in the past um but i have a lot of new people new subscribers that have just now tuning in which is totally fine um, i love helping and uh helping you get that perfect stance for that f-150 so 35s 34s, 33s, they all fit just the way you got to do it. I'll check you on the next video. Peace.